Hi everyone. As you guys have probably heard by now, Gabby Petito's body has been found. She's a 22-year-old woman who went missing at the end of August after going on a cross-country trip with her fiancé, Brian. Her fiancé left her and went back home, and when her family was trying to find her, she was nowhere to be found. And of course, this situation has taken a dark turn because Gabby's remains have been found. Earlier today, human remains were discovered consistent with the description of Gabrielle Gabby Petito. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. Something I find really unsettling about that FBI agent's statement is that he talks about her remains being found. Her body has been located, but what did Brian do to her? And of course, Brian looks really guilty right now. As you guys know, her fiance is currently missing somewhere in Florida. They believe that he's in the Carlton Reserve, which is a large forest, and the authorities have been searching there for him. I didn't want to go on live stream or really make a long video about this because I truly feel depressed over the situation. I mean, I can't imagine what Gabby's family is going through. And my condolences goes out to them and any of Gabby's friends or loved ones. I think a lot of us are feeling the weight of Gabby's death because we were all so invested in this story. And even though we kind of thought this was going to happen, we were all hoping that it wouldn't lead to this and that some miracle would happen and she would come back home and she would be safe, but this story has only gotten darker and darker and twisted. And the fact that Brian is running away right now just shows that he's a coward and he's going to pay for his crime one way or another. You guys have probably also heard of the footage that was released earlier today. It was released by a YouTube channel that actually drove past Brian's car in late August. And if you guys look very closely at the film, some people believe that Brian was actually digging a hole in the background. Honestly, I can't really tell what's going on there, but the fact that the car was seen in this footage has supposedly led to her body being found. I'm not entirely sure how it all correlates, but it's amazing that so many people have come together and they pieced together this story for Gabby. If you guys want me to make a more in-detail video about this situation, I will, but today I have a really heavy heart, and I'm sure you guys do too, and it just makes me sad. I feel like if I were to go and live stream, I would just start crying over this because we were all like at least i was i was over here refreshing my phone looking at clues and so many of you guys have just emailed me today over her body being found that um i don't know it's it's like it's weighing on a lot of people it's something that the whole country was talking about and covering and I just feel incredibly sad. I can't even like get my investigator, you know, mind on because I just feel defeated. And I'm sure a lot of you guys do. And I'm sure her family is devastated. I think one of the reasons why this story captured the nation was because some people had a glimmer of hope that maybe she was alive. Maybe she is out there and something bizarre happened, but it wasn't this. I still can't really wrap my mind around it all. And I'm not trying to disrespect her by any means for making this short video, but I wanted to come on here and update you guys because Again, I just feel depressed. I'm sure a lot of people do. And actually that depression is kind of turning into rage because I wanna know where's Brian? What's going on with Brian's parents? Because I feel like they know more than what they've told us. And something isn't adding up here, of course. I mean, it hasn't been this entire time, but Brian needs to be brought to justice and him running away isn't okay. And there are rumors that maybe he went to Puerto Rico. Maybe he took his own life. And honestly, I don't think that he's taken his own life personally my opinion because i'm not an expert because if you think about like if you do take your own life it's not like you are gonna hide your body you know what i mean like if he was gonna do that you probably would have found him by now so i feel like he's in a hidden location and i also feel like his parents know more than what they're saying if the authorities need to go and get his parents and hold them and to Tain them or whatever until they get some answers, maybe they should do so because this man is obviously dangerous. But nonetheless, Gabby has shaken the nation and I hope that she can rest in peace and I hope that she'll rest even better when we find Brian. This man had no right to go and take this girl's life. She was 22 years old. She had so much more life to live and it just, it really, that sadness is turning into anger because I want to see this man brought to justice. It should have never 
never gotten to the point where he had to go and take her life over what? An argument? A disagreement? They couldn't break up? Like, there's no explanation here. And that's why Brian is running. He will be found because the public is demanding answers. And he should not be looked at as a missing person, but a criminal on the run. Again, I want to send my love to Gabby's family and to all of you guys out there who feel just sad over this situation. Um... Just, I don't know, comment below what you guys think. Uh, what do you think should happen to Brian? What do you think about, like, the whole situation with her remains being found? Um, comment below. It's a safe space, and we can kind of just mourn over this together. Um, and I think tomorrow we really, really need to figure out where Brian is because justice needs to be served. Again, I'm sending love to you guys, and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.